Hello, and in this video, I want to discuss Troy Black, okay? Um, I don't know how I happened to come across this individual, but one thing that stuck out, and that is God speaks to him every single day. Whether it's on the election, whether it's on whatever, um, Donald Trump, whether he's, he's going to be on coronavirus, but while the world w w were in an emotional mess during the pandemic, wondering how are they going to survive this horrible situation, guess what? God spoke to Troy Black. And in his, if you like, um, amazing titles, you know, he comes across with these clickbaits. You know, the, a demon spoke to me last week. A demon came in my dream. You know, he coming out with all these clickbaits. And he obviously is appealing to a certain mindset. I'm not sure whether his audience are Christians or whether they are people who just happen to like these prophetic, astrological, you, you know, kind of uh, predictions. There are people who have entered in, in, into the Christian Christian world and, you know, for all kind of different dodgy reasons. You find them in Joel Austin's church. You find them in, in Creflo Dollar and T.D. Jakes. They're there for ulterior motives, not listen to the Gospels, but they're there for ulterior motives. And hence, you got people like Troy Black who are cashing into this um, and, and deceiving a lot of Christian people. You can call them Christians. Troy Black, you know nothing of his background, nothing at all, nothing about what church he goes to, who ordained him, who baptized him. You know nothing about this individual other that I think he was a comedian. He, he was a comedian and he made a bet. He made a bet that he would con the Christian world with all these fake prophecies. He made a bet and obviously he won the bet, but it continues and the cycle continues and he gets caught up in his own espionage. He gets caught up in his own web of deceit that he begins to lose his own character and get into the characterization of what he has developed. So he's now becoming, if you like, engrossed in this deception. Talk about deception. He said that um, God told him, God told him that, you know, about the coronavirus. So God went bzz, bzz, in his ears, you know, every single month, right? God is talking to him. July, in May, even Christmas, and even God, you know, came from heaven to, to give a special message, a Christmas message, or even, you know, regarding the general election. But it's God's always talking to Troy Black every single month. I'm not sure whether he's living a, a perfect life, so sinless, that he's so pure that God sees it fit that he's going to reveal his innermost mysteries to this guy who has no background. You don't even know who baptized him, what church he goes to. You don't even know his theology, nothing about him, what his beliefs are. You don't know anything about this individual. All you know, he uses clickbaits to get people. You know, people that, that they like to know what's going to happen in the future. And a lot of, lot of fake prophets are cashing into this. So there comes of Christians, Christianizing, but in the end, they're producing nothing. But Troy Black, he was saying that God told him about the vaccine. 
God told you about the vaccine because the, the churches and, and Christians were regarding the vaccine to not be healthy, etc. And suddenly, suddenly out of nowhere, God told him, it's okay, take the vaccine, it's okay. In another of his video, he was trying to explain why the vaccine, sorry, not the vaccine, why the coronavirus was here. He was trying to explain it. However, conveniently, even though the coronavirus was here, God was going to deal with it through Bill Gates. In other words, he knew that by attacking the vaccine, he knew, I'm not saying whether it's bad or good, what I'm um, attacking is or questioning is Troy Black's motives that he would say that God told him that you should take the vaccine. And he even opened the Bible. And do you know something? He couldn't find one verse, not one verse, to substantiate his claim that God told him, it's okay, you know, you, you can work alongside with Bill Gates. He couldn't find one verse. But because he knows that people can't read or write and they have no biblical exegy behind them, tell them anything and two and two equals ten. You know, many false um, prosperity preachers do it all the time to justify getting money out of people, quote the Bible out of context, and always from the Old Testament, never the New Testament. And when they do, you can guarantee it's out of context. God is obviously punishing the earth, okay? You, you had fires, floods, etc. You had coronavirus, and now you got Ukraine, and it's going to get worse, okay? What's interesting with these prophets, they always study the news. Like, for instance, he says that, uh, I think it's about something in, in, um, in Russia was going to do something, blah, blah, blah. What he does, he reads the news, and then he tries to predict in advance, hoping that what he's saying corresponds with what the news or the politicians are predicting. So he's pretending that God's telling him this, but really it's the politicians he's listening to and he's hoping that they forecast are accurate. But still, people fall for it. They fall for this con man. This guy, you see, the, the, the workmanship of, of a prophet is you should talk about an event, not doing it, Right, look, this says, um, Jeremiah says that Jerusalem will fall in AD 70. This was years, years, that Jerusalem was fat and the Jews were, you know, eating the fatted calf and dancing around the maypole. The, you know, they didn't believe that Jerusalem would fall in AD 70. And Jeremiah said it would. And it happened. That's the hallmark of a real prophet, King David, you know, although he was a king, but they regarded him as a minor prophet. In the Psalms, prophesied what would happen to the Messiah. This was hundreds of years later, but prophesied what would happen. These modern day prophets, they can't even prophesy what's gonna happen next year. But people still follow them. Why? Because we have the need. It's, it's almost like an emotional crutch. Tell me what's going to happen tomorrow. Tell me what's going to happen next week. And that's why Mystic Megan, Russell Brand, or Russell Grant, Grant, Russell Grant, an astrologer, they are very popular because people like to know what's going to happen in the future. And Troy Black, seeing this market, decided I'll tap into it. This guy, he, I'm, I'm sure he was a he was a podcast, he was a motivational speaker, and then suddenly, overnight, suddenly, overnight, he found religion, just like Donald Trump did. Overnight, they're playing Christians, but Christians can't see what's happening to them. They're being played. This guy, you know nothing about his background. You don't even know who his pastor was, whether he was baptized, who baptized him. You don't know nothing about his theology. All he says is God's talking to him every single day, every month. 
something does not make sense. Jeremiah went through silence and he says, God, where are you? Went through silence. The prophets in the Bible went through silence. But every single month, God's talking to him. It's almost like what he wants to happen, he, this is all God told me this, or he follows polit politics and he says, ah, this is going to happen. Let me quickly go now and say, God told me this. This is the cheapest thing you can do. This budgeting prophecy, that's what it is. It's budget, budgeting prophecy. It's not quality prophecy. It's cheap budget Walmart. That's what it is, Walmart. In Britain, it's called Asda. You know, or, or Aldi or, or Lidl. This down, downgraded brand is not real prophecy. The guy is taking people for mugs. But still, what they say, is a book I was reading. Uh, there's a sucker born every minute. A sucker born every minute. And that's the reason why you got in the church is so corrupt because the wrong people go in it because they know that people the, the people that they have vacuums in them, it, it, they emotional desolate and they're looking for leaders. And these psychopaths they know this. These psychopaths they know this. And what they do they come along and they exploit you. Look at Benny Benny Hinn. Benny Hinn said that um, for years he's been preaching prosperity preaching and he realized he was grieving the Holy Spirit. He realized he was lying. And he says, I'm not, I'm never going to ask people for money anymore. I'm never going to ask for a thousand dollars for healing. You know, you know, but you know, you think to some people would actually read the Bible for themselves. But these people know that you can't be bothered to open the Bible. And that's the reason why they come up with all these clickbaits. They come up with all these outlandish claims. Oh, God spoke to me. He will never do an interview. Troy Black would never sit down and do an interview. And you ask them, when did God speak to you and say to you, oh, everybody must take the vaccine. When did God tell you this? When? How? He's not going to do it. The man's a liar. He's a, he's a con man. The earth is being punished by God. Being punished while he and everybody, all these false prophets, were saying God was going to bless Britain. God was going to bless the world after Brexit. And I made videos back in 2019. And I said Brexit would be a failure. I said there would be a, a curse upon the land. I made that prophecy back in 2019. There will be a collapse. I didn't wait. I, in fact, if you, I think I made, um, I uploaded a video when I said that um, I'm, con I'm concerned that, you know, um, I've been deceived. If you're a genuine prophet, you will speak from the heart and say, you know something, maybe I've been deceived. And this is, I think it was just before lockdown in 2020 and the whole world just went on a lockdown. The whole world went on a lockdown just when I made your video and I says, I think I've been deceived. And the whole world went into lockdown and I've had other dreams since of the word ma. God is going to destroy. I'm asking Troy Black now. Troy to come and challenge my prophecy with his. Right? God is going to destroy Britain and Europe. But Troy Black says, no, God's going to bless them. You know, mm, listen, God's going to do this. God's going to do that. I'm saying it in advance based on a dream I had in 2015 when I saw an earthquake of God's judgment and I stuck with that dream I stuck with it I could have been proven wrong and everybody could have laughed at me but I knew what I saw and I stuck with it that is the difference when you're prophesying something from way in the back in the back in the past way in the past and you know is going to come to pass. Not every day, oh, let me see what's happening. You know, oh, you know, this woman's going shopping. 
Oh, I know. She's, she's going to buy a bag of tomatoes. Oh, God told me you're going to buy a bag of tomatoes. That's, that's, that's budget bargain price. That is cheap. But this is what people want. They, they want cheap profits. They want line profits. And that's the reason why people like Troy Black exist. That's the reason why people like Joel Austin exist and TD Jakes. Because people want to be ripped off. They want to be lied to. Just tell them beautiful things. Right? Troy Black has never spoken about God judgment. Why? Because he knows people run away. Talk about God's judgment upon the planet. Oh no, God's telling you, take the vaccine. Because he knows if he says opposite, his, his YouTube will get strike or get shut down. So he's playing the game. Notice the Holy Ghost in him is playing the game, knowing what to say. This guy is a con man. And there's other people who expose him. So people are, are aware of what this man is about. But sadly, some people just don't care. Just like some people support Joel Austin. Even though he went to a satanic gay pride, he went to Lady Gaga, LGBTQ, you know, satanic parade. But this church still support him. They don't care. Tell them what they want to hear and they will support you. They don't care about Jesus. They don't care about the truth. All they care about, as the Bible says, tickle their ears. Tell them, you know, which, which suits their fancy and they will support you. This is what this world has now come to.